Welcome to another Illustrator tutorial and today we're going to look at how to make a license plate. I have my border already here and we're going to go to appearance so it's a rounded border because license plates have round edges and I'm going to uh, add a new stroke. Uh, one point is good, choose a color. I already have a swatch that I've created using the Pennsylvania license plate colors. The Keystone State, home of the Liberty Bell. Well, Philadelphia is the home of the Liberty Bell, but it's in the state. Okay, so I'm going to offset this path. And because I don't want the edge of the license plate to be a stroke, I want that, that, that to be a color. So I'm going to uh, offset this path and put that there. Okay, so the offset is done. I don't need uh, my swatches uh, right now, so I'm going to minimize uh, this panel. And let me name uh, this layer border. And the rest of this is going to be very basic, putting up the type, so I'm jumping ahead. And we'll take it from here. Okay, so I cut off a little bit more off the top than I wanted, so I have to tell you what I did. So I selected the type object with the selection tool, or you can choose the target circle on the right hand side of the layer. And then in the appearance panel, I chose a gray, and that's 50K. And then I chose effect, distort, and transform to create an offset um, for it to go up and to the left. And now I'm going to duplicate uh, that fill. And uh, everything was done in the appearance panel. So be sure you're in the appearance panel that everything is selected. OK, duplicate item. Uh, select the layer that is down and to the right. Now I'm going to transform that. And I want to offset that. Okay. Now moving on to the next stage. Uh, okay, now again, I'm still in the appearance panel. And I'm going to select a fill that's to the bottom, offset to the bottom. And I'm going to choose multiply. And this is going to become my shadow. Now it's to the bottom and to the right because I've decided my light source is coming from the top left. So whatever you do, you have to make sure it's consistent with your light source. So now I'm choosing the top fill and I'm going to choose the screen blend mode. And this is going to be my highlight for the light that's coming from the top left. So remember your light source has to be very consistent consistent in order for this to be convincing as a realistic uh, lighting plate, license plate. Okay, moving on, and it's still on the appearance panel. I'm going to select one of the layers and choose uh, Gaussian Blur, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Where's my, okay, here it is. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, tens pixels uh, works for me. Uh, look based on what you're doing and just experiment and get the look that you feel works best for you. Now I'm going to go to the other fill and I'm going to do the exact same thing, blur, Gaussian blur, and keep the pixels the same in this case. So that's what I'm doing here uh, for mine. You can do yours, whatever you want. I ain't hating. Okay, now again, still in the appearance panel, I'm going to add a new fill. And I want it to be above the top layer, so that's why I selected uh, the, the fill as already as the top layer. And I'm going to choose a solid color. Uh, my color is not going to be here because I already pre-made my license plate colors. So yours may be here. Use whatever you want. Um, you're free to do whatever you want. Uh, just pick a color. Okay, now um, I've chosen my license plate blue, Pennsylvania blue. And I'm going to make that uh, into a, a multiply mode also. So now I can pick up some of the shadows and highlights 
from what's underneath and the color from what's underneath also. So again, it's going to become part of the license plate because later on we're going to put some texture on this. All right, so uh, that's done. Now let's jump ahead. Okay, so now I want to uh, center my title and in all those layers that were in the appearance panel or a sub layer of my layers panel so I can move all this in one shot not have to worry about linking or anything like that uh, okay now I want to adjust uh, my um, uh, my embossing effects so and again since this was done in the appearances panel this is all still fully editable um, so I can uh, go ahead and make those minor adjustments uh, for the distance uh, from the letters so uh, let me continue doing that and make this the same distance as the other one, just 0.1 inches and get it a little closer. And now uh, you're probably looking at this and thinking, you know, this is not really looking like a license plate, that, that gray is really not happening. But just remember I told you earlier that I wanted to fill this license plate. That's why we made the border inset. So now I am going to fill the license plate. And aha, see, it's looking embossed, isn't it? Now the magic is starting to happen. But I have a little problem because the border is above um, and hiding uh, the areas uh, that I want to show, which is Philadelphia in the, in the blue and yellow stripes. So let me get this logo, um, this Philadelphia, not, not Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, logo on the same layer as the title and I, I'm calling it the title but it's the license plate and you can see because I did it in the appearance panel anything I put on this layer now takes up the attributes of the appearances okay so now I want to poke some holes in the license plate and I have something weird happening because I'm losing my continuous stripe all around the border so let's take a look at that and this is what's happening. So what I'm gonna have to do is duplicate uh, my border and and move that on top and and then and then get rid of what I don't need for that. So I just have a stripe that doesn't have anything on it. Okay. And then go back to other border and that should be fine. Actually, we shouldn't have to do anything on the border. because uh, this border what does the job that I want. So I'll be fine. Okay, now let me go to the fill for the license plate and start making that kind of shiny and reflective. So I'm just messing around here uh, with the different linear gradations and just trying to get something I like. And there's no formula for this. I'm doing this on the fly. It's completely subjective, uh, however you want. So, you know, this is not a model that you have to follow for yours, you may not want it to look like it's reflective at all. You know, so you, you could already be done. It's, you don't have to do anything else, you could stop. But for some little extra touches, continue to watch. And now let me go into, um, I'm in the appearance panel, I'm going to the filter gallery and uh, I have some added some grain. Um, this is good enough here. Uh, I could change the intensity of contrast or change the soft, but this looks fine. And as you can see, the, grad the gradients that I added are still there. So it's it's helping to give this uh, effect. And the Pennsylvania license place does have these uh, little flecks in it that are kind of reflective. Uh, now I want to add a drop shadow because this is why I wanted to put the holes in it. Because again, I want to give it more dimensionality. So if, if this is lying flat, it would cast a shadow. Uh, now I could continue and put some highlights on it, but I made my border too close to the edge. So remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for stopping by.